Prince Harry ousted as Invictus Games patron. Royal family divide deepens. In a shocking turn of events, reports have surfaced that Prince Harry has been stripped of his role as patron of the Invictus Games, the international sporting event he founded for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women. Instead, his place will be taken by his cousin-in-law, former rugby player Mike Tyndall. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. The 2027 Invictus Games are scheduled to be held in Birmingham, UK, but the announcement that Tyndall will now serve as patron has left many royal watchers perplexed and speculating about the reasons behind this change. The Invictus Games hold a special significance for Prince Harry, who created the event in 2014 as a way to honor the service and sacrifice of military personnel. The Games have become a beloved tradition showcasing the resilience and competitive spirit of wounded veterans from around the world. So why would the royal family choose to remove Harry from this role that is so closely tied to his own military service and charitable work? The answer, it seems, lies in the increasingly strained relationship between the Duke of Sussex and the rest of the Windsor clan. Ever since Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, stepped back from their royal duties in 2020 and relocated to California, tensions have been high. Their tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they leveled accusations of racism and lack of support within the palace, sent shockwaves through the monarchy. Since then, Harry has continued to be outspoken in his criticisms of the royal family, most notably in his mental health-focused docuseries with Oprah and his bombshell memoir Spare, which is set to be published in January 2024. These attacks on The Firm have not gone over well with Harry's relatives, particularly his brother Prince William and his uncle Prince Charles, the current Prince of Wales. Now, it appears, the royals have decided to take away one of Harry's last remaining links to the institutions he once belonged to. Handing the Invictus Games patronage to Mike Tyndall is a symbolic slap in the face, reinforcing Harry's outsider status within the family. Tyndall is married to Zara Tyndall, the daughter of Princess Anne, making him a well-connected member of the Windsor clan. As a former rugby player with a military background, he also brings relevant experience and credibility to the Invictus role. Footage from past Invictus Games events shows Tyndall enthusiastically supporting the competitions, attending alongside his wife Zara. His warm rapport with the athletes and genuine interest in the game's mission make him a natural successor to Harry's founding vision. However, the decision to replace Harry is still a bold and controversial one. The Invictus Games are indelibly linked to the Duke of Sussex, who poured his heart and soul into creating this unique platform. Stripping him of this role feels like a deliberate attempt to erase his legacy and connection to the military community he has championed. Royal commentators have speculated that Prince William may have played a key role in engineering Harry's removal. As the future king, William wields significant influence over the family's decisions and he is said to be deeply protective of the monarchy's image and reputation. Harry's ongoing attacks, including his memoir's anticipated revelations, are likely seen as a threat that must be neutralized. By installing Tyndall, a proven team player who is unlikely to rock the boat, the royals are sending a clear message. The Invictus Games will continue, but without Harry's disruptive presence. It's a move that underscores the growing divide between the brothers, and the family's determination to sideline the renegade Duke of Sussex. Of course, Harry himself has not yet commented on this development, but it's safe to assume that he will be devastated by this latest blow. The Invictus Games have been a labor of love, a way for him to honor his military service and support his fellow veterans. To have that taken away, especially by his own flesh and blood, must be a bitter pill to swallow. The implications of this decision stretch far beyond the games themselves. It's another chapter in the ongoing saga of the House of Windsor, a family grappling with generational change, personal feuds, and a rapidly evolving public perception. Harry's exile from the royal fold continues, with each new development serving to cement his status as the prodigal son. As the 2027 Invictus Games in Birmingham approach, all eyes will be on Mike Tyndall as he takes the reins. Will he be able to maintain the event's momentum and build upon the inspiring legacy that Harry created? Or will the specter of the absent Duke of Sussex loom large, a constant reminder of the familial rift that has torn the royals asunder? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The drama surrounding the House of Windsor shows no signs of letting up. 
The saga of Prince Harry and his fractured relationship with the royal family continues to captivate the public imagination, with this latest twist serving as yet another bombshell in an ongoing saga of Shakespearean proportions.